Good morning, folks. We had a bit of activity on the sun the last day, but the pops were minor and nothing appears to be heading our way. We've got a tropical prediction. We're on alert for geomagnetic activity, and the disaster at programs expected to peak and score yesterday actually look like they'll do it today or tomorrow. But first, let's come to spaceweathernews.com and see this non-eruptive star presenting a large, dark coronal hole. While the solar flaring is not a concern, the X-ray flux is up off the floor with some sunspots on the disk. The only flare potential, however, is about to depart the Earth-facing disk top right there. Big one across the way, too simple to fire right now. However, we are expecting geomagnetic disruptions to occur as the solar wind streams coming from this coronal hole should be fast and impacting Earth in the coming days. Thus far, we're already seeing the faster streams impact, but we know there's more coming. Already got some geomagnetic instability, so eyes are going to have to be open there. The northern IMF is what's coming from that coronal hole and should be starting to interact with Earth's lithosphere now. Both the coronal hole scoring and the sunspot scores have been on the rise, but shouldn't go much higher. Should peak today or tomorrow. After no magnitude 5 quakes in two days, we're seeing an uptick in the northwest Pacific there. Also one above average off the coast of Oregon. It's important to watch for those geomagnetic storms because only one layer of Earth rocks at a time, so a magnetic event above our heads could steal the show from quakes beneath. If that is the case, then we would expect the next tropical storm event to kick up with the geomagnetic storm as well. Currently, we've been as quiet as the sun's flaring output. Couple weather notes as much of the states are baking. Geez, wouldn't that feel nice right about now? Center of the country is under the biggest threat this evening. Please check your local forecast as we expect weather alerts coming across the Midwest and New England, too. For those who want to get in touch, visit the contact page, including for our new P.O. box so you can finally send mail or avoid PayPal, send me anthrax, whatever you feel like doing. Directions are there. USGS goes back to the office today. It's Monday, so Jeffrey Love and the USGS should be making some kind of decision about what to do with our challenge pretty soon. Out of the loop, Google Space Weather News versus the USGS. We've got pressure and radar across the globe, followed by shots of our star to close. It's 4 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.